Playing on a lower end device can often be super frustrating, not only because of super inconsistent FPS, but also getting a ton of input delay can really put you at a competitive disadvantage. Therefore, I'm going to show you right now here in this guide the best tweaks for lower end devices in order to not only improve your frame rate, but also reduce your input delay and really put you on the spot, guys, when it comes down to comp gaming. Don't forget to leave a like and also don't forget to check out the Discord if you have any more questions. And in the first place, guys, what I want you to do is go into your left side of your Windows screen and type in CMD into your Windows search bar, right click onto it and run it as an administrator. Once the CMD is opened, you're going to paste the following comment in here, which you can find in the description of the video, guys. And this is basically like an overall system checkup from Windows directly, which is going to scan your PC for any corrupted files, errors, some issues in the registry itself or anything which could somehow slow it down. Then we're just simply going to click onto enter once it's in here and you're going to let this load here real quick so it can actually scan your whole entire PC. Really depending on your PC speed, it's going to take longer or shorter. If let's just say as an example, you installed any software on your PC which could somehow corrupt your system itself and really slow it down, cause FPS drops and all that stuff, this process itself should already fix a ton of your system errors. Then you can see here the operation completed successfully and what you now want to do is type in here again SFC then slash and then scan now guys. This one you're also going to let run in the background real quick and it's going to basically verify all your system files as well. With applying both of these quick CMD comments guys you can make sure to fix a ton of intern windows issues which as mentioned can even cause FPS drops or simply slow down your system especially while doing basic tasks or gaming. You can see guys, Windows Resource Protection found corrupted files and successfully repaired them. Therefore, you can see there were actually some corrupted files slowing down my system and this quick CMD command actually repaired all of them. So therefore now we're chilling and we're done here with this first step. In this next step guys, we want to actually enable the ultimate performance mode on your gaming PC, which is going to provide you better performance while gaming guys. And usually this one is hidden. So for most of you, it's only going to be balance and high performance. So therefore what you want to do is again go into a Windows search bar and type in the CMD, right click onto it and run it as an administrator. Once the CMD is open up again, you're going to paste in the following command, which is going to be power CFG and then duplicate the theme and then the following code. Then you just simply press enter on your keyboard, which I'm not going to do since I already have this mode enabled. Then you're going to go back into a power options guys and here it says show additional plans and you're going to click on this small arrow and that now says ultimate performance guys, which is going to basically give you the maximum power out of your system straight up. You can by the way also compare both of them here guys maybe use in the first place the high performance mode try it out and if you can see hey i can even put it on ultimate performance then definitely use this one then you're already set guys and you can close the window and now let's continue with the next step in this next step guys now i'm going to help you to optimize your hdd or ssd on your specific pc guys where we're going to use a tool which is going to be called defragler and you can by the way get it straight up on my official website guys the stripes box spot just simply click onto it and click onto fps boost once you get redirected just simply search for a post with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching click onto it and once get redirected again scroll down guys until you can find the download button which is going to redirect you once you get it on your pc and you went through the installation process guys this is exactly how it should look like you can see it my main disk c guys which is a m.2 ssd make sure the drive which you want to optimize is actually selected and now super important guys if you're running an ssd you have to click on to optimize if you're running an hdd though you gotta put it onto defrag make sure that you select it for your right device guys since actually defragging your ssd can slow it down guys so therefore don't do that and since i'm currently running an m.2 to SSD as mentioned, I'm going to click on to optimize. This small info icon here is going to show up, click on to yes, and now the optimization process is going to start. Let it finish guys, don't interrupt it, whatever, and just simply let it run quickly in your background. Then this next step guys, I'm going to show you how you can clean up a ton of temporary data from your PC. All you guys gotta do is press your Windows key, press R until this small run file here opens up. All you guys gotta do in here now is type in their temp and click onto OK. Then you can see the small note here that you currently maybe not have the permissions, just simply click onto continue. And in here now we have our temporary data. These here are basically just like backup files from Windows straight up itself, which can also help you sometimes to speed up loading times for like super power efficient programs. But what we want to do is simply clean up as many as possible. So therefore click onto it. You can see here everything is cleaned up since actually temporary data can slow down your PC. Then we're going to close this, click again Windows plus R and this time we type in there actually prefetch. Just like this here guys, you will find everything in description or even right there on screen. Click onto OK again. Then it's going to ask you, you maybe currently don't have the permissions. Do you want to access this folder? Click onto continue. And this is the same type of data guys. Yeah, Also temporary data, which are just slowing down your PC because in case if you guys didn't know, whatever you open up on your PC, it's always going to scan everything on your hard 
drive and especially those prefetch and temp data are slowing down your pc a ton guys so therefore make sure you clean those once in a while and you should already be chilling here and good to go then also make sure to of course clean up your recycling bin click onto yes continue and you can see just like that 300 embeds actually last and once you're done with everything guys just simply restart your pc and i can only highly recommend you to check out the following guide which is right near your own screen where i showcase you how you can lower the amount of processes in your windows 10 or windows 11 which is overall going to result in way lower input delay additionally to all the settings which we just applied video is going to be in the description so therefore make sure to check it out or other than that check out the two videos which are right on your own screen since they're also super helpful